Hey guys, and in this quick little Blender tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to set up materials in the Geometry Nodes system. So um, this might be something you're looking up on YouTube. So I'm gonna quickly just explain to you with a very simple example how to add materials, not just to one object, but to two different objects. Okay, so let's jump right into Geometry Nodes. So we're gonna come up here to this tab, click on Geometry Nodes. Here you can see here is a cube, the default one. Let's just click on that, use it as an example. Now let's click new here to create a uh, network. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go shift A and let's get, just click over here for search. Let's just get a sphere. So I'm going to type in sphere. You can use anything just as an example. So add it on here. So it's going into the geometry group output over there. And uh, let's go shift D to duplicate that. And then let's go shift A quickly search. Let's just get a join and then get a join geometry and place this one over here and then plug this one at the bottom. So what we have here now is two UV spheres and they're both actually here, but one is on top of the other. So let's just grab this bottom one, shift a search and let's just get a transform. And we're gonna go transform, put it on this cable here. And now just like we would ordinarily move an object in object mode with the transforms, you can now come over here and for example, on the translation, if you go on the Z, that's pretty much like the location. Okay, so you can see here we've moved that up. So this UV sphere here is now on top of that one. So now that we have this little setup. Now I can quickly demonstrate to you how we can add materials. So for example, let's say we want to add a blue material to the one at the top and a red one to the one at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go search and we're gonna type in set space and then material. So set material and let's plug this one on the bottom one, which is that one at the top. So this UV sphere we transformed and let's now go over to our materials and by default that cube had a material so let's just call it a um, mat one and let's just go down to our viewport display and let's just make that one blue okay so we're now going to come here to the set material click on this little slot here and now if you click on mat one um, it's made that top one here which is this sphere here it's now got that mat one material and what I could do is I can grab the set material and go shift D and now put it on this UV sphere. And now if I click on here, uh, obviously I can get rid of that material or I can select that one material there. Or you can just come as usual to materials properties, click on the plus, go new, and let's just call this mat two. And let's make that one red in the viewport. And now let's come here to the set material and let's get that mat two. And now you can see within the Geometry Nodes network here, um, we can give materials, not just to any one object, but to any object using this set material. So I hope this has been a quick, basic rundown of how to get materials in your Geometry Nodes setup. And um, I'll see you guys next time for a, another more in-depth tutorial. This is just more of a little quick one today.